East Springs is open for business once again after two shootings over the weekend, but one or possibly two shooters are still unaccounted for. Kilcross County Sheriff's officials are still investigating, but not saying much about either incident. TV 20's Alyssa Perry tells us why some people who live nearby refuse to go to Jenny Springs. Gilchrist County Sheriff's deputies are still on scene at Jenny Springs after the following two shootings happened Memorial Day weekend. What was supposed to be a fun weekend took a turn for the worst. Officials say that these incidents happened Friday and Saturday night. Jenny Springs was closed Sunday, but now people are coming back to this popular place. One man who came from Jacksonville wasn't aware of the two shootings. There should be no reason for someone to, you know, be armed to, like, with guns here, you know. It's a place for kids, a place for, you know, just people to enjoy their time. Shelby Gray, who lives near Jenny Springs, told me that it is known to be crazy, especially during the Memorial Day holiday. It's getting worse every year. I just had, like, my memory pop up that last year someone died on Memorial Day. Just last year, a woman died after she fell off a Jeep and was run over by a trailer. Hunter Maragani told me he doesn't even step foot in Jenny Springs due to the rowdiness. It's not really worth it. Not really Too worth much it. drinking, smoking. I mean, two attempted murders just for Memorial Weekend. Not the best place to go. People on social media are also raising concerns about children in the environment. Children were discouraged from coming this weekend. Neighbors hope some rule changes will be made in the years to come. Gilchrist County Sheriff's deputies and FDLE agents are still investigating these attempted murders, but are not releasing any information. Reporting in Gilcrest County, Alyssa Perry, TV 20 News. And meanwhile, court records show a number of civil cases against Jenny Springs Outdoors LLC since 2001. A settlement was reached over a University of Central Florida student who was killed by a falling tree in June of 2022 while on a camping trip. And a lawsuit is still open in the case of the woman hit and killed during Memorial Day last year.